Hello everyone. The topic we cover today is psychotherapy. So welcome to the psychotherapy. We can say that it is one of the important treatment modality we are using in the field of psychiatric treatment. Or we can say collectively all the psychological therapy they are calling as psychotherapy but still it is having some important techniques which is related to the psychotherapy. So we will see detail regarding all these things. So first we will see the meaning of psychotherapy. So what is a psychotherapy? So we can in a simpler way we can say that the psychotherapy is nothing but it is the treatment of emotional problems by using certain psychological means or by psychologically we are changing the behavior of the person that is termed as a psychotherapy. And now we will see the definition of psychotherapy. So we can say that the psychotherapy it is the development of trusting relationship which allows the free communication and which leads to understanding and acceptance of self. So what do you mean by this one? So here we can say that there is a, a trained professional, okay, there is a trained psychiatric professional, it may be the uh, psychiatrist or a clinical psychologist or the psychiatric nurse, they will maintain a trusting relationship with the person. So why we maintain a trusting relationship with the person? We have to identify the patient's problem as well as we have to impart an insight to the patient. And if you come to the psychotherapy, the important principle of psychotherapy what we use, it is nothing but the techniques of therapeutic communication. So first we want to identify the patient's problem. So there we will be using the therapeutic communication. So that is the psychotherapy. So what may be the uses? Okay, now we will see the uses of psychotherapy. The first and important thing, we have to maintain a proper interpersonal relationship or IPR with the patient. Because most of the psychiatric patients, they may be having problem with the socialization and they may not maintain a communication and they may not trust any people. So here, by using the communication technique, therapeutic communication technique, we maintain a trusting relationship with the patient and that is the first one. They, we have to improve the interpersonal relationship of the patient. The second one we can say that to treat the emotional disorders or the problems of the patient. So once we maintain the communication then we want to identify what are the problem the patient is having and we have to treat that particular problem according to the patient's emotional disturbances. And the, another important one, we have to impart an insight to the patient. Most of the psychiatric patients, they may not be knowing what is their problem. So here in the therapeutic communication, by this communication techniques, we will explain the patient what are the problems he is having and we will impart an insight to the patient. So these are the important uses of therapeutic communication we can set. Now we will see what are the types of, therapy, uh, types of psychotherapy. So according to the depth, Okay, while using the uh, uh, what we can say duration or according to the depth how it is classified. It is classified into a superficial or a short term or in another way it may be deep or a longitudinal and educative. So these are the three types of psychotherapy based on depth. It may be superficial maybe for a short time or it may be deep for a long time or for educative purpose we use this uh, particular psychotherapy. In another way, it is classified based on number of person. It may be individual psychotherapy. Here we will be selecting only one person. Group psychotherapy. In the group psychotherapy, a group of psychiatric patients having similar issues or similar problem. Say like 8 to 10 members of uh, similar problem will select and we will use some of the technique. And sometimes for the entire family, we call it as a family therapy. And based on the purpose, again it is classified into it may be a supportive psychotherapy, re-educative psychotherapy or it may be a reconstructive type of psychotherapy. And these are the various types. Now we will see the indication. What are the conditions we can use this uh, psychotherapy? So like almost all the neurotic condition except uh, hysteria you can use this one. Then if the patient is having a chronic psychotic conditions, then some of the personality disorder then certain childhood disorders, we can go for such type of uh, psychotherapy techniques. These are the indications. Now we will see certain techniques. Okay, what are the techniques of psychotherapy? Here we are using different techniques for psychotherapy. So we will start with the ventilation. So what is a ventilation? It is nothing but 
expression of patient's feeling or we can say that release of bottled up emotion so here what happens the patient most of the psychiatric problem the basic reason is stress or the patient is not relieving his stress so all the emotional disturbances he may not be expressing to other people so here in the ventilation the main technique what we use we will be helping the patient to release his feelings ventilation the second one it is abreaction in the abreaction technique it is similar to the ventilation but the degree of emotion what the patient is expressing will be more severe or it may be intense form so here again deeply will ask to the patient regarding a particular incident so if you are asking that regarding particular incident patient patient may be explaining detailly regarding that emotional area come to the next one reassurance so reassurance anyone can do this particular technique so here we'll give a psychological support to the patient that is a reassurance come to the next one explanation so but that is very very important because most of the patients may not be knowing the meaning of their behavior they may not be knowing the disease condition or it may be it's regulated to the treatment or management aspect so here we'll give a clear explanation regarding that particular issues patient if the patient is having any misconception so all these things will be removed by this particular explanation technique next one suggestion in the suggestion we'll give certain positive statements to the patient okay if you have any issues don't worry so everyone are there to help you like that we'll give a certain positive uh, statements to the patient to relieve his uh, anxiety or tension next one it's a persuasion persuasion is nothing but repeatedly the uh, professional or the psychiatric professional will be using certain methods to change the patient's behavior or will use certain alternative methods to relieve his tension that is comes under the persuasion next one reinforcement so in the reinforcement will give any reinforcement or a rewards to the patient the reward in the sense it may be a material form or it may be a verbal form suppose if the patient is doing any adaptive type of behavior will give certain reward or positives okay you did a very good job like that will give a verbal statement so that comes under the reinforcements here the person will be getting a confidence and he will try to improve his adaptive behavior come to the next one recreation so that is very important that even as a normal people also can go for recreation to reduce the emotional area or feelings so here what happens the leisure time will suggest certain leisure time or will provide certain leisure time activities to the patient so that is a recreation so that if they engage in any of the leisure time activity their tension will be relieved or their anxiety will be relieved come to the next one work as a therapy so here we'll provide certain simple job vocational training to the patient so that we can divert the patient's mind come to the next one relaxation that is very very important and even normal person can also follow this relaxation so here the patient's anxiety will be relieved by certain relaxation technique it may be like yoga or deep breathing exercises anything can be uh, Uh, train to the patient in the relaxation so these are the various techniques of uh, psychotherapy what we follow and we have certain unwanted effect of the psychotherapy in the unwanted effect what happens the patient may be uh, so much depend on this uh, what we can say psychotherapy and unplanned or if it ineffective psychotherapy it will waste the time and material so okay, these are the unwanted effect of psychotherapy we can say So now we have seen what is psychotherapy what are the types of psychotherapy and the techniques of psychotherapy in detail uh, the, uh, that's all for today's class this is vishan signing off till we meet the next class thank you